Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Monday, December 7th, 2020. Well, folks, quite the weekend. I don't know in December how you could have it any better than we did over the weekend. All across the Rocky Mountain in the west and the western high plains, the skies were blue, the sun was out, temperatures were very comfortable for this time of year. The wind was really not a factor anywhere. Hopefully you took advantage of it. And if you like the weekend, well, you're going to love the weather through Wednesday because nothing's really going to change for another three days. So we have three more days of this, but then those changes are coming. We always talked about around the 10th of December was going to bring a change, and that is on schedule. Thursday's a day where it starts to turn colder. There's nothing big coming Thursday, but we start to see the weather pattern noticeably change. More in the way of clouds, some mountain snow showers move in Wednesday night and Thursday, and we're going to have a three-day period of falling temperatures Thursday through Saturday. We'll see snow likely in the mountains. Now that's going to be good news for the snowpack, which is suffering, and good news for skiers and snowmobilers. Across the low elevations, at least initially with this first wave of colder weather, the snow down low isn't going to amount to much. But long term, the pattern stays active. In fact, for the rest of December into the new year, it does look like the weather gets a lot more busy. And historically, in La Nina's like this, the second half of December and early January does bring active winter weather. So that is to be expected. This is where we are today with the upper level pattern. We have this huge ridge over the western United States. We have this upper level low over California that isn't doing anything. It's spinning around here, has very little moisture with it. So the western United States is dominated by this high pressure pattern with all the unsettled weather along the east coast. But see what happens as we go forward. By Thursday, we have one front getting pushed through. That's going to come in Wednesday night, Thursday morning, bringing snow showers to the mountains, colder weather to the plains. This guy right here is much stronger. It's going to come in behind that guy, and here we go. By Friday, we've got a low over Wyoming, another low up over the Dakotas and eastern areas of the Dakotas. This is going to bring in some colder air, and it will bring mountain snow and snow showers to the plains. This is not a really good pattern for significant snow on the plains. You need the low to be further south down here, and you need it to be slower moving. But it's going to be a fairly quick moving trough that's going to head off to the east. But from Thursday through Saturday, noticeably colder, mountain snows coming, snow showers to the low elevations. By Saturday night, the low is off into the Great Lakes, moving out fairly quickly. There's a little sliver of high pressure that will bring fair weather for Sunday into Monday. But we've got another low here queued up to come southeast into the Pacific Northwest by early next week. And there it is. By Monday into Tuesday, another chance of mountain snow, snow showers on the plains and colder. Another low here. That's going to come in right behind it by late next week. So they're starting to get lined up. Also notice this large area of blue. A lot of very cold air is building in the higher latitudes. In fact, not only over Canada and the northern high latitudes in North America is the cold air building, but it's also building up over Siberia. So we are seeing a trend to colder weather. And if we were to do a bird's eye view of the northern hemisphere, imagine that you're in outer space looking due south over, looking due straight down into the northern hemisphere, this would be the North Pole. Notice this is 10 days out. So this is by December 17th. Notice a lot of blue here. This is a lot of really cold air over Canada. Then we've got a lot of very cold air over Siberia into northern areas of Asia. So we've got some real big cold building here while Europe has a little bit of a very mild stretch of weather here. But with this cold here and this cold here, colder days are coming and the Arctic Oscillation is showing it to be in a negative phase. It's the green line here from now going forward all the way up to just before Christmas. So opportunities for colder weather and then into this very mild weather, well, it's right around the corner. So take advantage of the next three days if you can. Snowfall wise, this is what it looks like over the next 10 days. Notice the mountains are getting the snow again. Here comes the snow back into the mountains, the northern plains, the northern Great Lakes, the northern tier starts to build up some snow. But notice, east of the mountains here, 
yeah, there's some snow. It's just not terribly impressive, and that's likely what's going to transpire. So good snow up high coming, down low, colder with just a little bit of snow, at least through the weekend. We'll see you on Tuesday. Enjoy the nice weather.